Hello everyone. In this today's video, we will be dive into using gRPC in NestJS to a standalone and a microservice example. I have created a NestJS application using the NestJS CLI and it's currently running in development mode listening on default port 3000 next we will generate a photo file to define our grpc endpoints in grpc a photo file serves as a blueprint for specifying the structure and functionality of remote procedure call or rpcs services and messages using the protocol buffer language to get started create a new folder within the source directory and in that folder create a file with the photo extension for this example let's name it users.photo so in the users.photo file is written in the protocol buffer syntax specifically version theory which is denoted by photo theory in this file we start specifying the package name as users this helps keep our definition organized the service user service block defines the grpc service inside we have defined two rpc method get user and create user this method have associated request and response types which we will look at shortly now let's see the message types we have get user request with a single field email which has a field number of one similarly get user response contains name and email field with their respective field numbers for creating user we have create user request and create user response message Both with name and email fields next step is to install the next case microservice package now we are going to create a connection to a microservice using the connect microservice method from app instance we are going to use the connect microservice method and passing in some options the first option will be transport indicates that we are using grpc transport in the option object where we will specify the details of our grpc service for example, package is the name of our package defined in our photo file. Here we are use the package name as users which we previously defined in our photo file. The photo file property points to the location of our photo file. We are using join function to ensure we have the correct path. And lastly, we have URL is the address where our gRPC service will be hosted. In this case, it's localhost and port 5051-50051. And now, the last step is to start the microservice. So we do that using the await app.startMicroservice method. This will start our microservice. Now, if we restart our application from terminal, we will able to see an error that a package is missing. So first, we will install it. After that, if we restart our application, we will able to see an another error 
which is now such a file or directory for photo file so we will open jcli json and define our photo asset in assets now we can see the error is successfully resolved all right now everything seems to be good let's set up our grpc method in our controller so can a controller we will define a method with parameter for using http we are commonly used http method decorator from nextjs like get post or other thing however to work with grpc things work a bit differently we will use a decorator called grpc method from nextjs this grpc method decorator needs two piece of information first of we will provide the name of the service as defined in our photo file then we specify the exact method we have defined within the service block of the photo definition and just keep on the eye on things let's add a log to see what's inside our payload now that we have a grpc route and we can see in terminal our app is perfectly running we can paste it on postman so open the postman and make a new request make sure you have correct request type which is grpc open the service definition tab and import your photo file after importing we have to define a url so currently our grpc is listening on port 50051 so now we can make a request to select a method which our defined inside our photo file let's say we will make a request to get user so if we go to our photo file we will able to see get user request takes a email parameter so we have to send a message for email you can see here auto completion also work if we invoke this request we will able to see the request is successful and we get response if we go to our terminal we will able to see a email is printed so we accept the request data in our method parameter now that everything seems to be working perfectly now let's create a new app called api gateway which will be act as a microservice client where we will register our user app as a microservice after creation successful let's change the default port to 4000 and open it on developer mode so that we it will listen on port 4000 To register our user service in our API Gateway client, we have to first install NestJS microservice. We also have to add another package called grpcjs, which will make our compatible to use photo extension file.
Now create a folder in our source directory for storing photos file. In this photos folder, we will copy our photo file from a user service and paste it here. To add a modification in our Nextjs CLI JSON to remap our photo file. You will start it assets in compiler option assets property and define all photos file inside our source directory this will ensure that our photos file are perfectly compiled while we just build our application so now that we have photo file make some modification in our app module first we will use the client module from our nextjs microservice client module dot register method accepts an array of object this object are defined for configuring microservices in this object there will be name property for defining the token so in this token we will be use user service and secondly the transport property will be grtc and in the options object we will first define our package name which is users if you open our photo file you can see our package name is users inside the options object we will also define our photo file to so use join function And lastly, we have our URL. In URL, you will find this URL where our gRPC is listening on. If you open our user service, in the main.ps file, we can see our gRPC is listening on localhost 50051. And that's all our configuration now open our app controller to use grpc method we will define a new method for example get get request users and we will define a private static variable for our services in our controller let's use the implements on init lifecycle this will implement a method on module init now we will inject our grpc service using the inject decorator which will accept a token which we define in our registered name configuration and this will be our client for grpc Now in our on init lifecycle, we will declare, redeclare our user service to the grpc 
سرویس or gRP service will be user services now we are able to use the user service dot or gRPC network for example get user network which will accept an email property which statically define our email property return from the service and now open the postman and make a request to the user's route we will able to see an error which is no connection established Let's check our users app. We have to open this cup our users app. Now let's make the request again in our API gateway. We can see the request is successful. And if we check our console log in our users app, we'll able to see its call. So our gRPC method is called form our API gateway application to user service. So that's all about gRPC implementation in Next.js. Thank you for watching. See you in next video.